Being American is something many of us take for granted. For Sonny Park, it was a lifelong dream. I made a decision to be American one day when I was young, 10 years old. But for a young boy growing up during the Korean War, there was a long road ahead. The Korean War broke. The North Korean communists uh, attacked the South. And we left the home and then flee to the South. And the American GIs came over and they fought for us. Very shortage of uh, everything, scarce of uh, food and clothing. And uh, we were sleeping outside pretty much. The seeds of Americana were sown by, of all things, candy. And the GI in South Korea during the Korean War who gave him a pack of gum or a piece of candy and he followed him around and idolized these people because he, they were heroes to him. He couldn't wait to come to the United States. I could tell they were fighting for me because of all the communists that pulled out when the, when the American soldiers moved in. And uh, we were so grateful for them. So we went out the street and uh, welcomed uh, the GIs, throw out the Hershey bars and chewing gums to us. The English word that we learn is a gimme. So always it's just a, just a walk around the gimme, a gimme. That's, that's what we're saying. <laughs> Yeah, they generously, uh, those uh, soldiers, American soldiers, uh, actually shared the, their, uh, their food with us. Inspiration for a lifetime of patriotism came from something as simple and yet life-changing as a pencil and a warm jacket. We didn't have uh, anything to, uh, in school uh, to study, and then no school supplies, and the notebook was a newspaper. And we had to write in between the lines of a newspaper. That's, that's how poor we were. One day, there was a number two pencil, not only one, but the 12 pencils on my desk and the three notebooks on my desk. And I said, wow, I still remember the, the smell of cedar. The package with the notebooks, food, pencils, and a warm jacket. I was thinking, oh, so good that their Americans are so brave and generous. I want to be like them. And then my dream to become American was grown from that moment. So I decided to come to America and become American, and then so I can be brave and generous. But it wasn't easy. Sometimes it takes a courageous decision to change the course of a life. I decided to leave home to be independent. And the only way to do it is to go out and make my living by myself. So I just ran away when I was 14 years old. Uh, I left a note to my mother, don't look for me because I'll be fine. Three months later, I contact my mother and I'm doing fine. I got a job and I'm actually going to school. Sonny finally seized his chance to come to the land of opportunity. He came from Korea and with nothing, absolutely not 30 cents in his pocket. And, uh, and has done rather well, for not only for himself, but for a lot of other people. Like most immigrants, he's more patriotic than natives. And uh, he appreciates this country, and he appreciates the people that are in it. The way he started out, you know, he was washing dishes, uh, serving meals, uh, selling products door to door in his pidgin English at that time. On weekends, he would drive a truck up to Chicago and back and just make added money. I came to the United States in 1974. It was uh, the day uh, President Jerry Ford pardoned Richard Nixon. Anyway, I came to the United States with $200 in my pocket. I had to find a job uh, right away. And I found a job posting. There was a cleaning uh, steakhouse kitchen. So I called him when I landed in Indianapolis Airport. So I said, can I come by now to for interview? And then manager uh, of the steakhouse actually hired me on the spot. I want to make enough money to pay $1 million as an income tax every year. I was starting making $1.80 an hour. Only America. He didn't know it at the time, but Sonny was closer to it than he realized. And giving back was always on his mind. He is a true gentleman and a true patriot. 
He has more to give than to take. He's just a, an energizer bunny. He works all the time, and he's looking for new things to do all the time. I set my goal and say, I will feed 1,000 families one day in my life. And I actually drove the building and I can house 1,000 families. It was a nonsense idea, it was a nonsense. But today, in my company, over 3,000 people involved in, in the business. My company is the housing, pr providing jobs for over 3,000 people. True to form, Sonny found that the road to success in business came from helping others succeed. People love to buy life insurance policies from me. I never had a plan to do any other jobs. I moved to Atlanta, Georgia. There were some Korean immigrants that needed somebody's help. So I've been helping them getting a job. I've been calling restaurants and hotels, factories, and janitorial service companies. And then one day, I had 12, about 12 people need a job now. I started thinking, what if I started my own company and hire them to clean the building? Signed up a contract, very small building. I only need about three people. But I put all 12 people into the building. And then a week later, the, the owner of the building couldn't believe the quality of the, the cleanness. And then we start cleaning other buildings and we, could, we become best janitorial service company in town. And then now we're in 22 different cities in the United States. I really enjoyed it because uh, I create jobs. I mean, I help a lot of people to have, have a nice job. I'm a chief executive janitor of a general building maintenance. I appreciate his humble spirit as the chief executive janitor of general maintenance. Uh, to see that sense of humility, his willingness to get on bended knee to pick up trash and clean spills and do whatever it takes is a real inspiration to me, particularly being in the hospitality business. He has, uh, he has the get up and go of, uh, of, of someone who has to be successful because they won't stop until they are and he knows it's possible for so many other people to do the same. I think he sees in America something exceptional. And it is, but we just take it for granted. Uh, he's never satisfied, and we shouldn't be. This is the greatest place on earth. The people, young and old, don't see that opportunity. I want them to be able to see the opportunities are everywhere in this country. I am 77 years old and I'm in the shearing stage of my life. Instead of giving a fish, teach them how to fish. And I'm good at it. Good Neighboring Foundation, I started to influence immigrants. Start with the Korean Americans. I want immigrants to, to be active in the community the way they live. We can change the mindset of people by doing great things for this country. We are quiet people. We are humble people. So I campaign the Asian American community to involve the community affairs more than what they do. He has a great love for youth, and he has done quite a bit for youth organizations. And again, he wants them to roll up their sleeves and take advantage of it, but he'll help them go on the right path. I think he mentors more people than anybody I know. I'm excited about the, 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 what I can help young people to do, especially the high school dropouts. If Sunny Can I Can is a mentoring program, and I stand in front of this high school dropout and introduce myself as a successful person. I came to the United States with no money, no language skill, no cultural background, with an Asian face. I made a successful life. What is so wrong with you studying, finish high school? And then I feel like it's working. It's a good honor that uh, we, we try to give to people who deserve it. And then you look around and discover you haven't given it to Sonny, and Sonny deserves it more than anybody. They have a 
great process of selecting award winners because I've seen the names of the past ones, many of whom I have the utmost respect for. Sonny's right up there. He is a man of uncommon accomplishment and he still feels very humble about it and knows he can do better, and that's what I really like about it. No honor suits Sonny better or could mean more than the Freedom Award. Sonny, what a worthy example that you are to all of us. What an inspiration that you are to all of us to have a servant's heart, a humble attitude. Your zeal, passion, enthusiasm, your work ethic are inspiration for generations to come. So thankful that God put you in my life and your life will be used to inspire so many other people. Congratulations to you and your Kay and your whole family. Sonny, I am delighted that you are receiving this award because you've earned it. And in the truest sense of it, you personify everything that we ever wanted an award to mean. And you, you do, do us honor by accepting and being part of it. Congratulations, Sonny, on winning the Freedom Award given by the Georgia Public Policy Foundation. As I understand it, the award is given to those who uh, exemplify principles of private enterprise and also show great personal integrity. And I can't think of anyone better and more deserving of the award than you. You are one of my um, personal mentors, and uh, you've supported me through all these years. And I know you have supported um, many, many folks. Um, they owe you a debt of gratitude. And those are the reasons why I think you're so deserving of this award. So uh, I want to congratulate you uh, and Kay and your family uh, on this uh, very special night uh, of this prestigious award. Sonny, I, a part of me is warm by knowing you're receiving this award. It's something you probably didn't expect to ever receive, but you richly deserve and you and all the people here at this dinner tonight are gonna to have the same feeling, I think, that I do, that they've got the right man and you're the one. God bless you, keep it up.